So we're currently at the backstage of um, Sister Act in Manila. So currently I'm on the stage and here's the uh, um, 16 feet tall Mary. And as you can see, my back, the whole area where we'll, uh, the audience speak in a while. So let's check other stuff, the backstage. Um, as Jerome said, I am Molly Goodwin. I'm the production stage manager for the show. Um, I toured um, I toured this show in the U.S. Uh, in 2014-15, so it was a couple years ago. Um, and now I am here in Asia, and I'm very excited. Um, I'm going to show you guys around, and I'll let you guys ask questions. Just flag me down if you have anything that you want to ask. Um, I'll try to give you as many details as I can, uh, and I'll fill in the blanks when you guys ask questions. Um, the first thing that I like to tell people on backstage tours is that everything on stage is from the actor's point of view. It's not from the audience's point of view. So you guys are doing backwards things. So right now we're on stage left, um, and that would be your right in mm -hmm. the house. Uh, so on stage left. Uh, we have lots of props. You know, you guys haven't seen the whole show, so you don't necessarily recognize all the things. But we have some dining hall props, and we have some choir benches, uh, and we've got some things that have mirrors on the other side, um, and some things that only play on stage left or stage right. Um, behind a lot of you, we have a prop box. So each side of the stage has a, a traveling gondola like this that has things that the cast use. Sometimes they're things that dress the set, so they're things that go on a table or a chair. Um, and sometimes it's stuff that the actors handle. So like these hymnals are handled by the nuns. They each get a hymnal for the choir room scene. Um, so they're all laid out so that the cast can come and grab them. And then usually they'll either hand them off to somebody when they walk off stage, or they'll come and they'll drop it in a drop bin. So this is all a bunch of random stuff. We've got guns and handcuffs <laughs> and uh, uh, all sorts of things that don't sound like a very happy show. Um, <laughs> we, have, uh, we have water bottle pockets for the cast because they're singing and talking a lot. Um, and so we want to make sure that they can always grab a drink of water if they, um, if they need it. Uh, we're going to head downstage. So in addition to right and left from the actor point of view, up and down stages based on, based on the fact that stages used to be raked, which means they were higher away from the audience and lower down towards the audience, which is why we say downstage and upstage. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll head downstage. On stage left, we have audio level, so all of these racks power our sounds. That is the half microphones. That's the band, that's the front of house speakers, that's the back of house speakers, that's anything that is related to our audio. Um, cables um, and racks get piled up and they travel with us. So they go into our sea containers, the sea container goes into the ocean, and it goes to the next country and we see it where we land next. We travel in five sea containers. Basically a 747. <laughs> it's a lot of stuff. Yeah. Um, because we travel all of it so that we don't necessarily have to worry about getting something in another country. We travel mm -hmm. self um, And then the venue, if we have any kind of like, we deal with a lot of power conversion because our um, audio and lighting come from the UK. Um, Mary is 16 feet tall. So that is as long as she is wide. Sometimes. Um, and then I have Q lights. The easiest ones for you guys to see are going to be your braille lights. And I have a red and a blue and a yellow. Um, and a Christmas tree here. <laughs> Sometimes the rail is on the opposite side of the stage from me, so I can't actually see the Q lights. Um, this is really nice because then I know whether or not the light's actually working. Um, we do a pre-show a pre -show check. So we go, when I check all the crew in, I go through and I make sure that all the lights work so that I don't cue something and nothing happens. Come on back. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Sure. No, I, I mean like the... Um, and then 
then that way wardrobe can go and they can look and see if everything's okay. They can pull the pieces that they need to fix a hem on or fix a button on. Um, we have a couple of... Down inside out. I told the. Oh, yeah.